All right, guys, welcome to another Dark Side Shorts. We are at REF Town Ampney, now known as the Old Airfield and owned by Farmcare. There's not much really to say about this one. It was used during World War II. It was open from 1944 to 1947, and REF Squadron Flying Douglas Dakotas operated from here, and they took part in D-Day, where I believe they parachuted the 3rd para Brigade into Normandy, the Operation Market Garden, and the crossing of the Rhine. Apart from the runways, there isn't much left. Uh, there, there apparently are some blast shelters still standing in over in that direction towards Down Anthony Village that you can access and have a look around. And a memorial at the end of one of the main runways, but the site is private property now, owned by Farm Care and the uh, Down Anthony Estate. So unless you've got permission, this is about as far as you can go. And obviously, it's well main, maintained with security and it's got some potentially dangerous agents on the site so i have got some old uh world war ii aerial photos of the site and some satellite photos and some various other photos i've taken but i will say one more thing if you're ever this site is near ref fairford and if it, you know there's planes coming in to fairford particularly their u2s they do b1 lancers and b2s which i've shown on the site before this is a good area to watch them on their approach and I will show you what I mean in a minute because as well as the old as well as the old World War II aerial photos and some satellite photos I'll show you I have got a few photos of a U2 coming into land I took not 100 yards from where I'm standing so that'll be it for today from the old airfield to the former RAF down Ampney don't forget to like share and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day hi guys you didn't think it'd be an airfield video without an addition did you well in this case it's something a bit different hill quarry products have agreed with farm care trading limited to begin uh, a quarry on the site to extract sand and gravel now the site is to be known as airfield quarry it will include the processing plant a concrete plant and a bagging operation along with all the associated facilities it will expect it to run for about 13 years and cover the entire site with a phased restoration now this is where it gets interesting for us Essentially, because RAF Fairford have raised objections fearing bird strikes, and considering they have B-52s at that airfield regularly, and there's lots of villages about, and the potential for a crash could be catastrophic, the site will be restored to nature. And, after its 13-year operation period, essentially the uh, old runways will be converted into tree-lined boulevards with permissive pathways along them, and information boards. Now... Whether you agree this is a good thing or not, it seems like in the future, if this channel's going in 15, 16 years' time, I'll go back to Down Ampney and hopefully I'll be able to take you around the permissive paths with the information boards and get a proper look at the War Memorial, which is set to be re retained and included as part of the new permissive pathway at the airfield. That really is it for now, so don't forget to like, share and subscribe and watch the montage for some pictures from the site. Thank you.